Hey guys, in this video, uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about what's going to come up in the test AP exam for 2024. Now, what I what I did, what I've done over the years um, is I've taken all the questions that uh, the AP College Board has done. So the top here, this this section here is calculus AB and this part down here is calculus BC. So we'll start with AB. But here, what I did is I just basically uh, kind of uh, organize a pattern here. And I want you guys to see the different types of questions that you're going to see. Now, for those of you that are in A, B, this is all fairly new to you. You've never seen this. So this is very, very helpful. If you notice, the, the basically the six type of questions you're going to get are rate accumulation. All right, that's where you something goes in, something goes out. Okay, table question. Table question, I'm referring to those questions where you, you're you going to have a Riemann sum. They're going to ask you for a left hand, right hand. They're going to ask you for um, maybe the average value of something. Um, then another major topic is particle motion, right? When the particle goes left, right, farthest left, uh, when it turns around, things like that. Um, area volume, you guys know what that is, okay? Um and then let's see, graph analysis, graph analysis, I promise you, you will see that. That's where they give you a graph. Usually it's a derivative and then you have to use the fundamental theorem of calculus and they'll ask you uh, where's the concavity, where are the points of inflection and all that good stuff. Also, you have uh, your differential equations with your slow fields, okay. Related rates, you see that one? That one's like an oddball. Um, so you have rate accumulation, particle motion, table question, graph analysis, that's four, differential equation, that's five. And then um, you have kind of some oddballs here in the area of volume six. Um, so I just kind of want you guys to take a look at this. So this is over the years. So in A, B, look at, look at the first question it has always been either rate accumulation or a table question. Now in 2021, you had table question, then rate accumulation, then a table question. I mean, I can pretty much, just based on the pattern, now this is not for certain, but just based on the pattern, I mean, I'd say I'd be ready for some type of rate accumulation here on 2024. Um, and it doesn't look like they've gone back to back table questions. But if you notice here, your table question is either gonna be here, number one or question two but you are gonna get a rate accumulation. And I don't see rate accumulation here any other place except here, but that was in 2010, that was a long time ago. Question two, if you notice, um, you get your particle motion. Last year was particle motion, okay? That was question two. Uh, question three last year had to deal with the slope field and it was differential equation. Graph analysis. Well, that was question four. Look at the graph analysis. You're going to see that. Okay. And then question five. Question five was a little bit, uh, a bit of an oddball. This is where they gave you a table and they asked you for the derivative rules. So like product, quotient, all that kind of good stuff. And a differential equation for number six, um, which is kind of interesting here. Because look, you got a slow field here and then you got a separable, uh, separable, separate differential equation here, a separable differential equation. Now, something that I notice, they don't, you don't see an area of volume here, do you? Last year, they had an area of volume question. In 2021, they had a, uh, an area of volume question. 2020, I mean, they didn't release the question, so we don't know. In 2019, you have area of volume. Um, I don't know, something tells me, you see here, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you got an area volume question in this year's test. And what you wanna do is you kinda of wanna just study the pattern and just kinda of fine tune your um, your focus. A lot of students, they ask me, well, you know, Sandoval, is optimization gonna be on the, on the AP exam? And the answer is no. Optimization has been on the exam, gosh, I don't know, in such a long time. Uh, I don't know if ever. Uh, maybe once a long, long time ago, but you know, if you can see the last what 10 14 years, look at that. Uh, you don't you haven't seen any optimization. So, hopefully, even just you by looking at this, you know, maybe pause the video, study it, see what you can pick out, and maybe you can see something that we can't. 
okay but this is this when i show it to students it's it really helpful for them to understand okay what what do i need to focus on so rate accumulation your table question um, graph analysis i promise you you're going to see that okay um, particle motion so i would say number one rate accumulation graph analysis uh, particle motion three table question i'm pretty sure you're going to see a table question guys um, area volume sometimes see one of these sometimes doesn't show up like a differential or area volume but if you notice um, area volume did, was not asked last year so I would say be ready for it okay um, now that's just for calculus a B all right and hopefully just by you studying this you can kind of see all right what do I need to focus on and hopefully just go ahead and take a look at the other videos that I posted you know they're from last year a couple of years ago a few years back but those are still some good questions that I help you go through them and I'll try to make some more videos for you guys just to kind of help you prepare uh, now for BC now for BC you can kind of see um, how they lay it out a little bit more strategically question six it's always been your tailor now remember BC students you guys have seen this before uh, three of these questions are from Calc AB, and typically you're gonna it's gonna be your um, your graph analysis question. I think last year graph analysis was the same as AB, and I think your table question, uh, and I forget which other one. But the different ones are your Taylor, your uh, parametric, okay, which is a uh, with motion and then um your polar your area volume okay so one thing i do notice here look at this for bc um last year there was no polar the year before in 2022 there was no polar 2021 there was no polar that's interesting so i don't know but i would just be ready for a polar question in um in this year's exam and look at here remember the first two questions in the AP exam are calculators so uh, it seems like polar comes up in the first uh, first two questions and it's actually only been the second question now there was a polar in question five back in 2018 uh, but this is just very interesting so make sure you understand your Taylor series and I put out a video on this um, question number one you know look at this your table question a uh, rate accumulation table question okay you got particle motion parametric 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 look at this so look at all these parametrics here but i don't know see the polar the polar and the parametric seem to alternate here okay so you got your rate accumulation your parametric your graph analysis now last year was is interesting because they gave you the slope field and the differential equation maybe that's the one i was thinking about it was, it was similar. Um, and I think that's when it was. They gave you a slow field with a separable differential equation that you had to solve. Um, and then number four was your graph analysis. And then you had the very area of volume. Okay, guys. So for BC students, um, you got your two area volume questions. It looks like that one's going to be by hand. Okay. Um, you're going to probably get a polar calculator, rate accumulation calculator. Table question. If you do get one, it'll probably be here. And then your tailor. So, guys, you know, hopefully this helps. I mean, you guys go ahead and study it. Maybe you guys can come up with something and see something that I don't or have some information that you guys can share on the feed. Right. Share it. Right. You guys are a really a special group. Not everybody takes calculus A, B, or B, C. So if you have something, share it out, put it out there. It might help somebody. It might, you know, encourage somebody. So, you know, help each other out, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.